Well, we've got some frost on the ground. My dad came up for the weekend. Everyone's gone. Gina left. Christina's gone. Dale's gone. I'm here. Lin well, yeah, I know. I know you're here, but Linda's gone. I mean, like literally, the entire summer crew's left. The frost is on the ground, and I think that's why they left. If they're giving a hint. But my dad's up here, and I know a lot of you are wondering. You know, what's gonna happen now? What's gonna happen this fall? Or fall? It's winter up here. We're we're pretty much heading winter. It snowed yesterday. I can tell you right now, this is the only rig on the property, so this is pretty much the only one we can work on. So Navi, we have to get started. I know you guys uh, have seen Dale live in this thing all summer, but the truth is, it hasn't started all summer because we think there's something wrong with the starter or a relay or something. So now that everyone else's rig is fixed, it's time to take care of Navi. You can see my breath on camera. Ice out here. I know there's ice. <laughs> Watch out, it's slippery. Very slippery. <laughs> <laughs> well, Navi's frozen. Oh my gosh, I just realized something I didn't do. Amp through the fridge? No, nope, worse. The water. I didn't drain the water from when Dale was in here. I bet the water system's frozen. Oh, no! <laughs> no! Oh my gosh, Dad! I can't believe I did that. <sighs> Rule number one. Drain the system before winter. Oh, I did say I was gonna rebuild the bus anyway. I was gonna announce this in another video, but eventually my plan is to do kind of a rebuild on this bus. Uh, if you guys don't know Navi, this is the bus I lived in for four years before I started building Ivan. This thing is pretty much like old school technology in my opinion at this point. I mean, I'm running lead acid batteries in the solar system. Uh, the It's just an outdated system. The water system is outdated. There's so many better components out there on the market now. Um, so this whole bus, we will be doing a rebuild on and I'm gonna be upgrading everything to kind of... Uh, well, when we built it, there was nothing. Yeah, there, we didn't even have lithium batteries when we built this thing, <laughs> or at least we had them. They were just like $2,000 a battery yeah. which now they're like like a battle is like 800 i think so it's still a lot but it's a heck of a lot less than what it was apparently though we're gonna be replacing the water system so that's gonna be part of the rebuild the big issue is the engine not only did navi split the hinges off so it's just a loose hood it won't start um it starts intermittently so sometimes I'll turn the key, the engine will kick over. Sometimes I turn the key and it does absolutely nothing. I have no clue why. My dad doesn't have any clue why. So it could be a starter, could be a relay, could be a bad ground wire. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things. We're gonna test through it all and try to figure it out. It's okay, Navi. You've been neglected for like two years now. We'll take care of you. What do I think? What do you think? Take your I, guess now. I think I, it's a bad starter. That's I my thought. I think it's a bad starter relay. You think it's the relay? I think the starter's bad. No. Or it's well, going. We will. Hopefully find out very quickly. Hopefully because it's cold and I can see your breath on camera. You want a hat? No. You want a jacket? No. Let's see what happens. It clicks. It does click. So let's um let's start Darn. with number one. So found our first thing. I just tested the batteries out. They're showing 11 volts. I, I, I don't think that's the issue, but they definitely need to be charged. <laughs> I just changed. See, this is the fuse panel for the, for the bus. Yeah. And in panel board two, which is this board here, there's the ignition relay, which is this one here. So I just took the spare relay in this position and moved it to this position and see if that happened, if, if by any chance that relay is is no good well let's just get the batteries charged up first then we'll check the relays and then we'll check the starter you know start with the basics then move to the more complicated okay We got the engine block heater plugged in, just cause it's cold. Let's give it the best chance of starting. We got it plugged in and the batteries are charging off my dad's truck. If anyone has a freight liner, you probably have seen this issue before. It's very common for these hoods to snap their brackets off. It's one of those like things that just happen. Unfortunately, Navi just got diagnosed with broken hood syndrome. But that's something I'm gonna have to address in the future, either buy a new hood or I'm gonna have to work on some serious fiberglassing and support and get a new bracket made for this guy. 
I don't know, now we can start really testing this thing out. We can test out if it's the batteries, if it's the engine block heater, if it's too cold, if it's a fuel issue, if it's a starter issue. Uh, this is where we're gonna really start trying to check things off the list. Start with the simple things, head to the more complicated. Let's hope it's simple. If this is a short video, you know we found it quick. If it's a long video, I hope it's entertaining. Well, we let the batteries charge up as far as we could for about an hour or so. I clanged, I banged, I hit, I smacked the starter, the wires, the engine. You know, just literally threw a wrench at it and it didn't work. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is pull these batteries out, bring them down to the local auto parts store. I'm gonna get them load tested um, to see if they're actually any good anymore. They don't seem like they're charging up too well, so I'm gonna go with these guys might be bad. Uh, I have never replaced them since I bought Navi, um, and I bought Navi five years ago, and who knows when the last time they were replaced, and the bus did sit for a whole year, so, you know, once again, we're gonna try to start with the simple stuff. We might be. Might be in a pickle. Na Navi might be, uh, snowed in. Snowed in. <laughs> might have to leave Navi and snow her in. Yep. It's okay, nothing spring can't fix. Woohoo, that was a lot of fun. Three new batteries. If anyone out there is interested, I'm gonna let you know exactly how much these three batteries cost. $518. Welcome to bus life. It's like filling your oil tank for the winter. I got the records on the batteries, so I had them tested before we replaced them. Uh, the batteries that were on the bus were running 250 crank, cold cranking amps out of 1,000. Then we've got 600 out of 1,000 and 420 out of a thousand. And they all showed technically good recheck. It was just something that like, if one of them was completely dead, the other one was only running just over 55%. Uh, I just opted out for replacing all of them. So we're gonna replace them. We're gonna hope that the bus starts. And if it doesn't, then we gotta move forward and start looking for ignition power to the starter. Then we can start going that direction. You know, I'm just uh, trying not to throw the kitchen sink at it just yet. We're just, you know, just splashing water on it. And as we're just about to start putting these batteries in here, uh, another bus that we all know and love, Ivan. I'll give you a little update on Ivan. I got a phone call from the mechanic the other day. The transmission is officially in Colorado and the bus is in the shop getting it replaced currently. Right now we're gonna focus on Navi. Then, then we're gonna go pick up Ivan. <laughs> Batteries are in. Doesn't mean it's gonna start. The hope is that it does. If not, we replaced a bunch of bad batteries. Had to happen either way. No! That was an expensive attempt. That wasn't expensive, but it had to happen anyway. Bad news, it's not the batteries. Good news, Ivan's getting fixed. Second bit of good news, it's not the batteries. So now what I think we're gonna do is head into the fuse panel that's right here and then follow the wire over to the starter to find out if when we actually turn the key, if it's even sending power to the starter to tell it to turn over, uh, that's gonna be able to tell us you know, are we looking starter to the ignition or are we looking at the actual starter as being the issue? So I just tested that out. My dad's gonna be uh, doing some research on that right now. But I can happily say at this point in the day, the temperatures have come up, the water system is no longer frozen and the pump works. Um, which means I just escaped a very dire situation of having to possibly replace all of the water. So what I'm gonna do right now is while my dad's looking up all the information about the starter, I'm going to come underneath this cabinet into the water system I'm gonna hook up an air line to it from an air pump and we're just gonna blow out all the water out of the lines so I don't have to worry about it for winter. Uh, I'm really happy that we pretty much caught this on one of the last days that's gonna be okay. Tonight's supposed to be 21 degrees. Uh, the high for tomorrow is about 38. We're getting to freezing temperature area where we're gonna have to start worrying about these things. So word of warning to everyone out there, if you have a rig and it is currently sitting and you're not using it and you're gonna let it sit through the winter, go take care of your system real quick because you're gonna thank yourself later and you're not gonna be like me, where I've had to replace the water system in this thing like twice now, because I forgot. <laughs> Don't forget. Hey, stop <laughs> laughing at me. All right, well, that is complete. Save the water system. 
Let's check on and see how my dad's doing on the starter. All right, so my dad came up with a plan. We're going to jumper a wire from the positive of the battery to the starter solenoid on the starter, and what we're hoping to hear is that it's gonna click. If it clicks, supposedly that's gonna tell us that the starter is functional, it's just not getting power, and then we know that there's something wrong between the starter and the ignition. If it doesn't click, it tells us that the starter's bad, and then we gotta replace the starter. I'm not honestly too sure which one I'm hoping for, either replacing a starter because it's like, you know, we know what we need to fix, or if I'd rather it not be the starter and find out it's something else that we have to still find. It's really a catch-22 here. We'll see what happens. Y'all ready for this? All right. Man, we're always hanging out under buses, guys. What? We did it! Yeah! You just want that one! We just determined something. Um, if you ever wondered how to hotwire someone's bus without having the key, we just showed you how. Please, don't go out and steal anyone's buses. <laughs> oh man, two things. Number one, thank you Badge, thank you uh, Dave, uh, who are our friends, they're mechanics. Uh, and also thank you to my dad, who you know just came up with some of these concepts and ideas. Uh, we were going back and forth with which wire to touch and stuff, so all I know is uh, thank you to those around me. Holy crud, man, we got it started! Woohoo! Here, here's the incredible thing. What's incredible? <laughs> the thing turned over, like, instantly. I know, and we haven't started it in six <laughs> months. Six months. I just want to drive this thing. We don't have a hood, though. Instantly. Ah, oh, man. Holy crap. We got, we got the bus moved to a new location in the driveway. So now that we got it started, it is parked where it's gonna be sitting for the next week or so. It's ready for winter. I mean, it's not clean. We've got a lot of painting to redo. We've got some molding I gotta replace. Uh, you know, this bus has been loved and cared for over the last few years. And I think at this point, it needs a little bit more love and care than it's been getting over the last year. I don't know what we're gonna be doing with it over the next year. Uh, I don't know if Dale's gonna wanna live in it again next summer. Maybe I'll move back into it next summer. Maybe, you know, my siblings will, my parents will. I'm not sure. Uh, definitely on the list is gonna be take care of Navi, get it fixed up. So whatever adventure the next one is, uh, it'll be ready to go. And now what we wanna do is see if it will start, you know, after we turn it off, which I don't think it will because we didn't really fix the relay. No, didn't start as expected, but my dad knows what to do to get it started now. And then I think this project's gonna have to sit till spring because it is starting to get really cold and I'm not trying to get my hands on in there and try to play mess around with it once the snow starts falling. Up high, up high. Well, fast forward a few weeks, uh, the bus is officially moved and winter is now definitely officially here. So the magnetic relay was definitely bad on the bus. Uh, I got a new one ordered, so we're gonna be able to put that in in the next coming weeks and get this thing whole fixed. But I know that a lot of you have known that I've been offline for the last few weeks. Actually, it's been about two months and I'm sorry for that. Uh, the bus is all good to go. I've been doing a lot of projects for my family and taking care of a lot of personal things. So thank you for everyone for sticking around and waiting until I came back and returned to YouTube. And now that I'm back online, I'm slowly going to be getting through the footage. So in the next video when we're at Christina's van, we're going to be talking about some updates on Ivan and we're going to see what she's been working on and where she's currently at on her van build. So we'll close the doors on Navi and I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for waiting. I'm glad to be back and I'll see you next time.